The most exciting announcement of this year's Adobe Max has to be the release of Illustrator on the iPad app. Join me if you want to learn the best features that make this reimagined version of Illustrator even more powerful. We will cover drawing techniques and time savers with the pen and pencil tool, drawing in symmetry, the awesome grid and radial repeat features, and so much more. Also, before we start, I just wanted to thank you all for supporting our channel and to celebrate reaching 333,000 subscribers, we are giving away 333 free copies of our latest course, Illustrator on the iPad Masterclass. Watch the video to find out more about how to get your free copy. It has never been as easy to draw vector paths as using the Apple Pencil and Illustrator on the iPad. The pencil tool is great to draw freely while still giving you enough control, while the pen tool is better for more precisely constructed parts. Whenever you pause while drawing, you can create a corner point and then you can continue drawing to create curves or straight lines. And most of the times you don't even have to switch tools because you can just make amends on the go by using the quick menu just below the objects that you are creating. Similarly to the desktop version of Illustrator, when using the pencil tool, you might end up having a lot of unnecessary anchor points, but on the iPad, it's just so much easier to get rid of them and refine your parts. First of all, by selecting individual points and use the smart delete function, which will still retain the original shape of your parts, or if you want a faster cleanup, you can even use the simplify feature, which is always doing an amazing job at finding the minimal amount of anchor points while still retaining the original appearance of your parts. For productivity, this tool has been adapted to work with two hands. So while you are drawing with one, with the other one, you will be able to use the touch shortcuts which will give you amazing time savers. Like with the drawing tools, if you are using the secondary state of the touch shortcut, you will be able to move points along the path. This is actually something you can't even do on the desktop version of Illustrator currently. And just like before, the best results you will start to get once you start combining tools and methods. So for instance, for this skull illustration, instead of relying solely on the pencil tool, I switched to using shapes and also the shape builder, which we will cover later on in a little bit more detail. And it's always good to pay attention to create your parts in a way that later on you can easily fill them with colors. And just like on the desktop, if you want to add highlights and shading, you can do this easily here on the iPad as well by using the layers panel and blending. So I use screen mode for highlights and I use usually multiply for the shadows. One of the things that I always wanted to be able to do easily on Illustrator on the desktop is to draw in symmetry. And with the mirror repeat feature on the iPad, it's just so much easier to do finally. And just like before, if you use the pen tool with the touch shortcuts, you can easily move them around, adjust them, and even split the handles much faster than again, relying on keyboard shortcuts on the desktop. The best thing is that when you start using this feature, Illustrator on the iPad sets up a mirror repeat group. It's like a special group, which will allow you to start new lines either with the pen tool or the pencil tool and stay in the symmetry mode. What I also love is that you don't have to worry about crossing onto the reflected side because Illustrator will automatically ignore any details that go over the center of symmetry line. So they will be there physically, but they just won't be visible. So it's almost like automatically masking out those details on the reflected side. And if you're impressed about the mirror feature, there's actually two more repeat options that I'm going to show you in this video. So make sure you stay and keep watching if you don't want to miss them. As I mentioned earlier, we are giving away 333 of our new Illustrator on the iPad Masterclass course for free. In this comprehensive course, you will master the ins and outs of the app with all the creative techniques and tips to create awesome vector illustrations. To claim your free course, all you need to do is to click on the link in the description below. Besides using the pencil and the pen tool, of course, you can also draw things by simply using the shape tools. And they work very similarly to the desktop. You have smart guides to align them. You can even turn on the grid to work even more precisely. You can use the touch shortcuts to draw them from their center point or also to constrain their proportions. 
But the coolest thing has to be the Shape Builder tool, one of my all-time favorites on the desktop version of Illustrator. With this, you can very easily combine or subtract shapes from each other. And from a couple of simple rectangles and circles, as you can see, we can create something much more interesting. And at any time when you select an object with the direct selection tool, you will be able to adjust the corner radius easily and non-destructively by using the corner widgets. There is a handy way of switching between the two main selection tools, the path selection and direct selection. So all you have to do is to just double tap with the pencil on the screen whenever you are using one of them. Even though at launch, Illustrator on the iPad has only a fraction of the features that the desktop version offers, it still has a lot of more advanced features like clipping masks that you would expect for a more professional illustration workflow. Creating and using these clipping masks works exactly the same as on the desktop. You just have to make sure that the object you will be using for the mask is on top of everything else. Then select all the parts either from the layers panel or from the canvas. And once you created your clipping mask group, you will still be able to make changes to the mask itself and also move and amend the parts within the mask easily at any time. As you would expect, there's also quite a lot of typographic features in Illustrator on the iPad. Like you can use the touch shortcut to very quickly snap text onto a path. And from then on, it's very similar to how you would work on the desktop. You have the start and end point, which you can align on the path. And then from the properties panel, you can use alignment, but there's also really cool rendering options. The default one is called rainbow, but this you can change to other ones like skew, 3D ribbon, stair step and gravity. I actually prefer rainbow probably the most, but besides rendering, you also have alignment options for vertical alignment. You can decide whether you want to use the baseline of the text or other aspects of it for alignment to the path. And of course, you have access to Adobe fonts and the quick menu below your text will allow you to very quickly change the text size and even the tracking. But probably the coolest thing I love to do is once I have my text set up and the formatting is in place, I can still go back and very quickly amend the path itself. And you can see the changes live literally at your fingertips. And that just really helps to refine and fine tune every detail the way you want it. Creating patterns, again, has never been easier by using the grid repeat, which actually looks very similar to the repeat function in XD. You can increase and decrease the vertical and horizontal repeat of your patterns, but you can also adjust the spacing between them, both horizontally and vertically. But the best thing is that you can easily just double tap on any of the details and easily move them around, rotate them, resize them, and even decide on the stacking order. And all the changes that you are doing are happening live. So all the other instances will update at the same time. You don't even have to remember which one is your original instance because every copy can be also selected to make changes to. And of course, everything is preserved non-destructively as a repeat group within your layers panel. And if you need more control from the properties panel, you can even create brick by row or brick by column patterns. And of course, also you can adjust even the colors of your background or items at any point. This is really a pattern designer's dream come true. And last but not least, there is also the radio repeat, which works very similarly to the grid repeat. However, this is creating a concentric pattern. And look at this, with that little icon there, you can adjust all the elements at the same time. And <laughs> it's extremely trippy. I love this feature. I can just play all day long with this. And obviously, once you have the shape or the arrangement, you can resize your pattern. You can still, again, move individual items within your pattern as well, rotate them, resize them. And you can even control the density of the elements. So on the right side, there is a control with which you can just drag up and down and increase or decrease the number of repeat elements. And you can also divide this pattern so you can create breaks in it. Similarly to type on a path, you would set up a start and an end point. So after seeing this, if you're still not excited about trying out Illustrator on the iPad, then I don't know what else to show you. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring. 
But don't forget, if you want to learn everything there is to know about Illustrator on the iPad, make sure to get your free copy of my latest masterclass course, which you can access from the link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun illustrating. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. Click on the link on my right and start your membership today to get access to over 200 hours of training courses and personal mentoring by me and my team of creative professionals. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.